these five big bucks, these deers, were standing in our path right there and refused to move. And Cade was a big boy like Aiden. And I thought, what the heck? I let go of his leash and said, get him. Oh my god. He took off running after him. They took off running. They couldn't get away from him. They jumped in that pond I showed you back there. Was standing in the middle of it. And Cade was my big swimmer, like Aiden. So he jumps in that water like an explosion. Deer run out everywhere like shrapnel. Today we're gonna trick Aiden. Because he won't turn left. We're gonna go around the other way and come back and turn right on the area he won't turn left to. Does that make any sense? Come on, stars. Come on. All right. How beautiful the sky is. Duck under this tree for a few seconds. Come on. Testing, 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 testing. Okay, come on. Let's do a mic check. Doesn't see any movement. Come on, puppy. If we're gonna stop, we stop under the trees. We talked about this. This is our deal for walking. Good boy. Now we got a long stretch of sunlight. This is how vampires walk their dogs. We got to get through this before we're burned alive. Come on. He's all zigzaggy today. Well, the only tree we can run under is this little one up here for shade. Now 
Yeah, it is hot. These GoPros are just burning. They'll shut down if they get too hot. Come on. Thank you, puppy, for weaving in and out and getting this all tangled up. I think. Come on, Aiden. Come on. We're not stopping. Except for to untangle you. Stay. Stay. And then while I was untangling you, Sarge the puppy tangled his leash around you. Come on. Oh, Aiden won't even go. I can't even trick him to go the other way. He hates this part. Come on. Come with me. You're being ridiculous. Unless a monster lives in the grass. There's no reason for you not to want to walk through there. Turn around. Come on, no. No. No, no, no. Come on. We're gonna break your fear of walking over in that area. Of course, this is the day that we're attacked and killed by something. And Aiden was right to not let us go there. Come on, Aiden. We're gonna go this way. Just too far away from the air conditioning. Huh. There are people out here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Quit running circles around me. Let's play jump rope. Let's see how the ooh, we're gonna cut through the shade trees. Come on, this way. Come on. Come here. This is the area that he doesn't like to go to. This is the area that he won't go to. So we walk around the other way, and we're gonna walk through it. What is it, buddy? Why are your gums bleeding? You been chewing rocks again? Okay, the sun is ducked behind a cloud. We're gonna go for it. Come on, Aiden. Look at this. Come on. Come on. And a giant rain cloud's coming. This is good. And I see Aiden's walking back through the area that he won't walk through if we come that way.
Puppy likes to walk in the soft grass. Aiden, he always walks on the pavement. Like a soldier. <laughs> so Aiden, why wouldn't you go this way before? Oops, sun's coming out. Maybe he doesn't like all these telephone lines and he doesn't want to give us cancer. Maybe there's a monster that lives in that little lagoon over there. Come on. Let's walk through these trees. Hey, sweetheart. Let's go this way. Lightning sparking up all around us and walking in this heat. The heat stroke bouncing all around us. Come on, pup. Oh, can you hear the thunder? Come on. No, not that. Those are people putting a roof on that house. But there is thunder in the distance. See Aiden, there's nothing here to bother you. He usually turns around when we come from the other way. Right about here. He just doesn't like to turn left the way we just came. Activity going off around us. Roofs being put on, brick walls being built, a rebuild. I think puppy's big enough for me to put him on that device with it. Puts two dogs on one leash. Gotta keep them in order. We'll stay with us next time for when we take them on the swivel, two dogs on one leash. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is boring. This is what I'm reduced to in my life now. Walking my dog and talking about it like it's interesting. I wish something did jump out on us. That'll make for a good video. Although I should say, when I was walking my dog cave here once, and Emma, there's five big bucks, these deers, were standing in our path right there and refused to move. And Cade was a big boy like Aiden. And I thought, what the heck? I let go of his leash and said, get him. Oh my God. He took off running after him. They took off running. They couldn't get away from them. They jumped in that pond I showed you back there. Was standing in the middle of it. And Cade was my big swimmer, like Aiden. So he jumps in that water like an explosion. Deer run out everywhere like shrapnel. And Emma, she, she tried to keep up with him. She would run. You'd see him on the deer trail, and Emma would be running like five seconds behind him. And then they'd run in the other direction, be Aiden chasing the deer, and then 
back and see Emma finally tagging along. And then they run right past her in the other direction. Well, anyways, they jumped out of that pond. The cave was right on their heels. And really, he wasn't that close, but this is, for story purposes, he was close enough. And it was just getting dark. And they ran into the woods on the other side. And Cade was just getting into the woods, and I screamed, Cade, come back here. He stopped and trotted back to me. Then we got home, and all the dogs were out of breath. And my girlfriend said, what does he smell like? Pond water. I said, huh. Sometimes life's just a mystery, I said. Cade was a good boy. Well, actually, that's not true. He's a he wasn't as good as Aiden. Kate had mental problems. He would run in circles all the time in the backyard and never stop. He would jump in the pool. He was a high jumper in the pool and swim. When I first brought Aiden here, Aiden was in the pool. Well, you know, because he, Kate left with my girlfriend when we broke up and I would watch him. And uh, Aiden was swimming in the pool and Kate went running out there and dove on Aiden's back and they started fighting in the water. Melter and Shepherds don't like each other. And Aiden fought back. And they both fought viciously. Alright. And this section is over with. Let's open the door.